Make sure you're in a comfortable seated position. You might like to raise hips higher than knees. And sit cross-legged or in this Japanese saber style like I am. Just see if you can arrive into your breath. So today we're going to be doing a practice focused on the metal element of Chinese medicine. This is our lung and large intestine meridians. We'll do some acupressure points along the hands and arms and talk a little bit about what they're for. We'll see if we can harness our breath in order to invite this feeling of calm and ease and well-being into our body, just taking responsibility for our health journey. And then we'll do some forms for the metal element. Metal essentially is this idea of appreciation of now, of living in the moment, enjoying each moment in life. Whenever we want more than we are, we deny ourselves the now, and we can only live now. So if we're always wanting more, if we're always planning and putting conditions on our happiness, then we deny ourselves this essential life essential appreciation of beauty and art and music and nature and everything that is around us. So as you probably know, lungs are the way that we bring air and oxygen into our bodies. All our cells and organs are hungry for oxygen. Oxygen is energy and life. And our large intestine is our kind of letting go mechanism. Literally, when we visit the toilet, and in so many other ways too, this idea of emotion and trauma and stress that we might hold in our body and our nervous system. So with every breath, just think about this idea of inviting in new energy. With every release of the breath, we release carbon dioxide sense of letting go of whatever we don't need. I invite you to start today's practice crossing the palms over. Just bring the fingers under the collarbone, inside the shoulder. And these are the first two points on our lung meridian. Lung one is the low one, lung two is the higher one. And just feel in with your fingers to this part of the body. Allow shoulders to be heavy, collarbone to be wide. Just take a moment to connect with the breath. I'll read you some chapters from the Tao. Chapter 10. Can you coax your mind from its wandering and keep to the original oneness? Can you let your body become as supple as a newborn baby? Can you cleanse your inner vision until you see nothing but the light? Can you love people and lead them without imposing your will? Can you deal with the most vital matters by letting events take their course? Can you step back from your own mind and thus understand all things. Giving birth and nourishing, having without possessing, acting with no expectations, leading and not trying to control, this is the supreme virtue. One more, this is chapter 13. What does it mean that success is as dangerous as failure? Whether you go up the ladder or down the ladder, your position is shaky. It's only when you stand on your own two feet on the ground that you will always keep your balance. And what does it mean that hope is as hollow as fear? Hope and fear are both phantoms that arise from thinking of the self. When we don't see the self as self, what do we have to fear? So see the world as yourself. Have faith in the way that things are and love the world as yourself, then you can care for all things. 
two and a half thousand year old wisdom from the Tao. Let's take our arms down by the side of the body. We'll inhale and slowly lift the palms up. Feel the arms as heavy, lifting something heavy. Deep breath in through the nose. Turn the palms. If we sigh out, just feel energy moving down the body. Letting go, letting go. Turn the palms and inhale to rise up. Side out. Shoulders are heavy. Press through the sit bones. Feel the spine long. And one more time, we turn and reach up. Let it go. All right, let's start just by tapping across our chest. I just explore across the sternum, the collarbone. You can use knuckles if you like, the ends of our fingers. Let's open down our left arm. We're going to spend a little time around the elbow crease. So there's a point just above the elbow on the thumb side. The coughs, sore throats, asthma. Let's work down the arm. Spend a little time around the wrist crease. And then down into the palm, we'll turn the hand over. So now we're moving back up the large intestine radian, tracing the energy of our body. Come back up all the way, back of the shoulder, back of the neck. Around the front of the chest again. Now let's open down the other side. Let's hold around that elbow crease. Down the inside of the arm to the wrist. All the way down the palm, turn the hand over, large intestine reading, and we trace it up the back of the arm. Come back to the chest and slowly bring the hands down. Let's roll the shoulders. Roll the shoulders. All right, we're going to bring our fingers as if you are taking your pulse. So we want to have fingers along just past the end of your thumb. So open out the palm and see if you can get a sense for your pulse. So we're on three points on our lung reading now, lung nine, eight, and seven. They all have slightly different functions. Let's see if we can take an inhale through our nose. And then the big sigh out. Extend the breath out. Wait for the next breath to come and inhale. And then sigh out. You might notice something start to happen with your pulse. As you breathe in, you get a sense for the rhythm and then as you breathe out, And extend the exhale, you might feel it slow. So that sense of moving into our parasympathetic nervous system, our rest and digest mode. We can call on this any time throughout the day. Simply 
by extending our out breath, inviting in new oxygen on our in breath, and then letting go. So as we become more still, as we allow our out breath to extend, so many things start to happen in our body. Our heart rate slows, of course. Our blood pressure drops. We might not feel it, but our immune system is switching on and this protects us from illness. So many things happen when we're still, as we feel oxygen moving throughout our blood system, it might bring a little clarity. Oxygen moves to the brain, helps us think a little clearer, and make better decisions. Whatever we do next in life comes from a place of peace and calm and clear thinking. All these things happen through our breath as we inspire inspiration. So you might like to today, whenever you feel a little frazzled or overwhelmed, just take this moment in stillness. Open lungs and Allow our body to move into this rest and digest state. It's available to us anytime. This is what happens when we become still, when we meditate, when we move away from always doing, 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 busy, busy, busy. We move towards space and emptiness. creating room for whatever is next. You might remember the story of the footprints and the shadow. As someone decides they don't like the footprints, they don't like their shadow, they decide to run away from them. So they start jogging, they run faster, and Look back, footprints are still there, shadow is still there. Keep running, keep running, faster, faster, faster. You turn around, still there, can't seem to escape them. Runs faster and faster and faster until the person falls over, dead. Of course, the decision had been made to just sit under the shade of the tree no footprints, no shadow. Sometimes we just have to remind ourselves of it. Let's slowly come up to stand. We'll draw our palms together, center line of the body. We might lift up the toes, place them back down. Allow our body to rock between the heels and the ball of the feet. Inviting in the next breath, new energy that we need. Sighing out whatever doesn't serve us anymore. Let's inhale together. Exhale, we'll press our hands out to the side, sink into the heels. Allow the shoulders to be heavy, collarbone wide. Inhale to draw the hands back in. Exhale to push out. Just find your own rhythm with the breath. Waiting for the next breath. Letting it go.
Let's turn our palms up, draw our fingers and thumbs together. Shoulders stay heavy away from the ears. Let's inhale together. Exhale, we'll turn and gently look behind our shoulder. Inhale, back to the center. Exhale, turn to the other side. Inhale, back. Exhale, turn. Just keep going in your own rhythm. Meet back in the center. We'll turn our palms down and take hands all the way to the lumbar spine. It's resting on the back of kidneys. Let's inhale together. Exhale, we turn and look over the shoulder. Inhale back to the center. Exhale, to turn, bringing the chin to the shoulder. And let's slowly bring the hands to the front and we'll shake it out. Just allow wrist joints to open out. Let's lift one of our legs, roll through the ankle as well. Both directions. Bring that foot down, switch to the opposite side. Let's bring the feet together, knees together, to small circles with the knees. And bring our hands to our waist now, take the feet apart, just rolling through the hips and waist, both directions. Take our left foot forward and shift our weight onto the left leg. Bend the knee a little. You might like to have hands out. You can rest against the wall for balance. Take your hands to your hips if you like. And we're just gonna open through our hips. Come back in the opposite direction, keeping the standing leg knee bent. And let's switch to the opposite leg, ground through the standing leg, bend the knee just a little, open out through the hip. Switch directions whenever you need to. Let's bring our feet down, just a little bit of balance work. Let's inhale to draw the hands up, exhale down. Shifting onto right leg, let's lift the left knee up. Exhale, bring it down. Switch sides. Grounding through the standing leg, just take all the time you need to Move with the breath. Find the balance before we lift. This time we'll inhale to lift up. Exhale, take the hands wide, foot comes forward. 
Take a breath. Inhale, knee comes up. Exhale, down. Switch sides. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, foot extend up. Inhale, knee comes up. Exhale, down. One more each side. Nice. All right, let's come back to spring our feet shoulder width apart. Take a moment to just tuck the tailbone under, feel the spine long, shoulders relaxed, arms by the side of the body. You might like to lift up the toes and place them back down. Fingers slightly apart and arms just hanging loose by the side. This is our Wuji stance, our stance of nothingness, no specific thing. We're looking for that alertness without tension, but also relaxation without dullness or sleepiness. Let's inhale to rise the arms up slowly, turn the palms in. Side out. Just get a sense for the next inhale and exhale. Maybe a sense for this idea of energy, mind and body connecting, this feeling of chi, not just within the body, but extending out from the body. So take your next breath. You might feel the arms extend a little wider. And as you side out, come a little closer. Let's take one more inhale together. Exhale, hands come down. Start the forms today with the second form from the Sheva Sheva, the letting go form. Inhale, lift up. Big long inhale, open out the arms, chest is open. Exhale, sink through the heels, draw the palms in and down. Inhale, rise up, keep opening out, opening the heart. Exhale, whatever is not serving us, just sigh it out, let it go. Moving with our own breath. So when our metal element comes into balance, we have this sense of just appreciation and we notice small things. We might be out in nature and we just notice the sound of the birds, the flowers we walk past, the feeling of the warmth of the sun on our skin. Maybe we enjoy the graffiti we walk past, the song playing in the car that drives past. Just all those little things that make up expressions of life all around us. And 
And let's come back to stillness. We're going to step our left foot wide. Inhale to draw both hands up and over the head. Come behind the lungs and then feel like we're pushing out as we drop sit bones back, weight into the back of the body. Inhale, we draw new energy in to come up to stand. And we step, shift our weight, step back to the center, side out. Right foot steps out. Inhale, lift the arms up. Inhale, feel like we're drawing energy in. We take our hands behind and we push out, let it go. Inhale, drawing back into the body. Shift the weight and step back to the center. Side out. Left foot steps out. Inhale. And exhale, we push out. Inhale. Shift the weight, step back to the center. Just find your own flow here, moving with the breath. I feel like your whole body becomes an expression of the breath. Side out. One more each side. Me back. Let's take a moment to check in with your body. Not feel into fingers and toes, this sense of our chi, our energy moving around, sense of aliveness, our vital force. I'm going to step out now to a wide force stance. We'll inhale to draw the arms across. Exhale, we're going to take, drop the tailbone, extend one arm out, our shooting arm, our other hand is our bow arm. This is usually called the archer, or the archer shooting the buzzard. Let's inhale to straight back up. Cross the arms over and then we'll switch sides. Drop the tailbone down, extend the chest wide. Inhale. Exhale, drop down. Inhale back to the center. Exhale, let it go. Slowly come back up or we'll step back to the center. Take a breath. Invite stillness back into the body. We'll step one foot forward. Step our right foot forward. 
Just bend the knee slightly. We're going to draw energy in towards the lungs. Exhale, turn the hands out, draw your hands together. Inhale, drawing in. Exhale, open the heart, side out. Big weight from front leg to back. Step our foot back, side out, and switch side, opposite leg steps forward. Inhale, draw energy in. Exhale, side out. Inhale. And we step back. So allow everything to be heavy. Step out into our horse stance again. Feet wide, knees slightly down. Tailbone tucked under. We're going to bring our hands into our center line and palms facing down. Inhale together, exhale, just sweep one arm out, shift the weight onto that leg, draw it back into the center, exhale as we push out. Inhaling and sighing out. Shifting weight from side to side. Inhaling as we draw hand back into the body. Exhaling as we push out. You might feel like you're polishing the table at your house. If you like, right after practice, you can do exactly that. Just extend the energy of practice throughout the day have the most polished table in all the town. Meet back in the center, step back in. We're going to move into our uh, crane from the five animal frogs. We inhale to take one arm over the other, inhale to lift up. As we exhale, Keep one leg as the standing leg, other leg comes behind. Inhale to lift up, exhale, take the leg down. Just keep
Keep your attention on your feet. Shifting our weight from side to side. Maybe just taking a little bit of flight. When our middle element is out of balance, we can be holding on. Maybe a sadness or a grief, a loss in our life, a job we loved, a situation we enjoyed. And it's out of balance, we might become critical, we might become a complainer, always distracted, always restless. Our shoulders might become turned in, our head down. So as we bring our meta element into balance, we open the heart, open the chest, lift the chin, Maybe we leave the ground. This is how we invite balance back into our lives. Let's move into the second part of the crane throwing. This time we take the arms wide, drop them down, and then we lift the knee up, raise the hands together. Side up, shifting to the opposite leg. Side up. You might just take a little flat. See how your body feels. We sink down through the heel. Maybe our knuckles come together. We keep moving with the breath. And let's bring our palms, our fingers back to our lung points. Cross at the palm. Just take a moment to connect with the next breath. We're going to turn our hands so that the inner side of our wrists and thumbs touch. Just cross the palms at this heart point. This is a mudra for the metal element, joining together a key point on our lung meridian. Just close the practice in a moment of silence and gratitude. Every day when we come back to the mat, we focus on what we have in our life. Maybe just expressing or experiencing gratitude for the things that are all around us. It helps us move away from this sense of I want or I need or my life is lacking or something has gone wrong. We focus on gratitude, we build from strength and help ourselves find the courage and resilience to enjoy life exactly as it is. You might like to use a gratitude affirmation, such as I ask for nothing else.
Let's bring our hands together to create a little bit of heat. You might like to bring hands up towards the head, seal in lessons of practice today. Maybe make a small intention to take this energy throughout the day, everything we do, whoever we meet. Let's bring our hands together and bow, acknowledging shared energy of practicing today. 